morning guys we're gonna do a mini come to work with me today um i'm starting off my morning with some breakfast <laughs> activia uh yep i just have two clients today my next client should be walking in in like the next 10 minutes and i styled my hair this morning so i started a little late today i started at 10 so yeah but i'll show you guys when she comes in I got my Olaplex package, so I'll open that with you guys. And see what we got. Lots of goodies. We got our number three. Oh, number three. We got some Olaplex number four. And five. Got some Olaplex number four, purple shampoo. And my favorite, Olaplex number six, leave in treatment. This one's so good. You guys definitely need to try this one. And we got some dry shampoo. This is another one of my favorites. This one's so good. And we got some Olaplex number eight. So we're going to go and put this away. And when I don't have any more space up in front, I put them in here. My first client of the day is doing an all over color. So first we started off with a trim. So today we are using Color Latino. I'm going to be using 5-0, which is just a natural like brown color. So I'm gonna mix 5-0 uh, with 10 volume, and then we're gonna mix it all together. And I'm also going to use Ali Boost from Color Latino. This is just um, so that the color can process a little bit faster. I believe it allows the color to process within 10 minutes. Sometimes I leave it for 10, sometimes 15. And then here I'm just applying her all over color. the finished result of my client number one and it turned out really pretty also perk of being a hairstylist is being able to curl your hair at work when you didn't have time in the morning so yeah i'm curling my hair it's of course i'm using the moroccan oil hairspray because it smells so freaking good and yeah all done okay guys i just want to show you guys some of my favorite products to use behind the chair um, so we're going to start off with the Olaplex number 6. This is a brand new bottle because I go through them like all the time. This is probably like my fifth bottle. These are amazing. They're really good for keeping them smooth and less frizzy. So this is the one I use before I blow dry them. This is another one of my favorites, the Keratin Complex. Um, this is a leave-in spray. This one's another good one. Just leaves the hair really shiny, really soft. Um, this is a Olaplex number 9. This is a serum. It's similar to the number 6, um, but this one's a little less heavy. Um, and yeah, that one's another one of my favorites. Another leave-in cream that I like. Um, similar to the number 
number six, I'm either, I'm never using these together, I'm either using one or the other. Um, and then I like this um, guy too, it's a spray. Um, kind of like an oil, but it gives it like a little simmer. Like this I use after I blow dry them. And if they need a little extra um, love, just for the fizziness, I spray this one. And this is the Olaplex um, Bonding Oil, that's my favorite oil. And then my favorite hairspray is the Moroccan Oil. My second client of the day is going to be a K-tip removal. Um, I am removing her K-tips with a K-tip solution removal and just breaking down those extensions to remove them. It's a very tedious work. We just have to be very careful with the natural hair to not cause any damage. Um, so this is before with all the old extensions, about six months grow out and this is after. and highlighting my client's hair she wants to be pretty light all over so we're doing some slices and some weaving very minimal teasing because I want the blonde to be pretty high and um, we're still leaving a little bit of dark in between but she's gone about six months without coloring her hair so it's pretty grown out so I'm just bringing it all back to the top and she likes to have a lot of blonde in there so we're going ahead and doing that. And then we're taking a quick little snack break. My boyfriend dropped off some a sandwich and some chip. And here is where I messed up. I toned my client way too ashy. I had to lift her base when I went to tone. So I was focused on toning with a lot of ash because I didn't want her base to be too brassy. And then I just ended up toning all of her hair way too ashy, which I didn't realize until she was leaving. She was like, I think it might be too dark, but I'll let you know. And I was like, damn, I messed up. Um, but luckily, she's one of my regulars. So she just shot, shoot, she shot, <laughs> she sent me a quick text. And let me know that it was way too ashy um, and we just had to remove the toner this was her hair um, once I dried it um, it looks really nice but it was very ashy in person it was just a little too dark not what she wanted um, but yeah I, I didn't realize until she had left so I ended up curling her hair and it looked really pretty it was just way too ashy so then I had her come in a couple days after and we removed her toner. So I just did um, <clears throat> I just did a little bit of bleach with five volume on wet hair. Just left it on for about five, 10 minutes and it removed the toner really nicely, very easy. Gave her that gold, very golden blonde color that she was looking for. Just so much brighter, so much blonder, exactly what she wanted. And yeah, I'm very grateful that my client came back and let me fix it. Um, and yeah, this is how it came out. It looked really pretty, exactly what she wanted. And I'm so glad she came back. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.